week on the vlog, we're going to be talking to you guys. Well, I will be talking to you guys as if I've got an entire audience here. No, I'm going to be talking to you guys about five simple ways to get over a bad breakup. And trust and believe you want to see this or you want to hear this. If you're watching this video, clearly you need help in getting over a bad breakup. Bad breakup, right? So that's the reason why you clicked on this because the topic showed before you clicked on it and then you clicked on it because you want to know how to get over a bad breakup or someone that you need to move on from their life. So you guys broke up and you're still there thinking, crying and moping and trying to figure out a way on how to get over the hurt and the pain that this person has caused you. Well, this video is for you. Before we get into the whole video, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. I'm not a professional psychologist. I don't know it all. This is just my little two cents of how I think that you can get over a bad breakup and you can either use it, don't use it, it's free, no one is holding a gun to your head. This is a platform to express yourself, right? Step number one, you have to know that there's a reason why you need to be away from this person. There's a reason why this breakup took place. There's a reason why he or she has to leave your life. There's a reason why you guys have to detach from each other. That is the very vital thing you need to know. There is a reason for your breakup and it's important to know that you need to be away from this person for there's a reason for the breakup and there's also the fact that you need to understand that you have to be away from this person you know how they say there's a reason and a season there's a season and a reason oh my god anyways you get a drift so understand that you need to be away from this person i mean sometimes a breakup is a blessing let's just get it real oh my god so it's, let's get it real. Sometimes a breakup is a blessing and it's a blessing in disguise that you may not understand at that particular time, but eventually you get to understand it, right? So I'm trying to make light of the conversation, but it's a very serious topic because there are people out there who are struggling to get over um, their ex and they find it very difficult. I'm just trying to make light of it so that it's not so depressing as it is as it can be at certain times, you know what? So if you clicked on this video, clearly you need help in getting over someone that has hurt you, or you guys are no longer, obviously you guys are no longer together, that's why you click on this video, you know? So you're trying to get over this person. Yeah, right? So that's why you clicked here. So I'm about to give you a five simple step of how you're going to get over this person quick and easy, okay? Step number two is um, stop trying to fight how you feel about the person. I mean, sometimes when you break up with a person or the relationship has come to an end, most of the time you're still in love with this person, you still have feelings for this person, you still have lasting over this person and thinking about how you feel and what you guys are doing, stuff like that. Don't try and shift those feelings away. Don't try and like, oh my God, I'm not gonna think about it. Oh my God, I'm not gonna deal with this. Oh my God, like don't put it like, like a book that you're supposed to read and you keep putting it away, putting it away, putting it away, let you go, I'm not going to deal with it. It's okay to feel those things. It's very okay to still have feelings for the person that you're no longer with. You know what I mean? Because the more you're trying to fight it, it's like you've been in a sinking sand and you're trying to crawl out of a sinking sand. You're just going to keep sinking. Sometimes you need to go down so you can shoot all the way up. Do you get what I'm saying? So don't fight your feelings don't hide your feelings and i'm not saying to you go and text this person how you still feel no tell yourself if you're still in love with this person yes i'm still in love with this person this hurts like mother you know this is like really painful i still think about him or her i still look at pictures you have to go through these emotions you have to allow yourself to feel every emotion you still felt for this person but it's only for a short period of time i'm not telling you to still be hanging and like hanging over this guy or girl for the next two years then you become an obsessive there's a fine line between becoming obsessive and owning the feeling that you have for someone if that makes sense so still feel it allow yourself to feel it allow yourself to feel the pain allow yourself to feel the hurt allow yourself to feel the Every single, the anger, whatever it is you feel, feel it and understand those feelings that you're having as well. And that brings me to step number three. Cry. Moan. Watch sad movies. Ice cream. Chocolate. Whatever it is that you need to do, do it. Like, when I, from feeling the emotion, you have to express the emotion. Not to the person. 
once again guys i don't want you guys to get it confused you're not here to go and express your emotions to this person and tell this person you still love this person no you're telling yourself it's almost like you're having a two a relationship with yourself and it's when not there's you and it's that person for those of you who don't know what i meant by when not it means you anyways there's you and you so there's your heart and there's your brain <laughs> so you're trying to tell your heart what your brain needs to tell your heart and you're trying to like feel the emotion so that that's why i said this is your third step is cry if you need to cry like cry if you need to cry get angry if you need to get angry feel the pain that you need to feel don't try and jump the process and feel like oh my god you know the the famous saying is like the fast way to get over someone is to get under someone no that's not the fastest way to get over someone is to get under someone because you're moving and you're taking this hurt you're pushing it you're parking it somewhere you're having fun and if that doesn't work out which most likely it doesn't work out sometimes because it's a it's a fling and then you pick up this emotion back and you pick up that emotion and then you have to deal with two breakup in a way almost like you have to deal with two breakup no don't get under anyone forget what they've told you about getting under anyone and getting your freak on honey it's not time for you to get your freak on it's time for you to cry and it's like you know even the bible for those of you who are christian the bible says that there's time for everything there's time to be happy there's time to cry and right now it's time for you to cry and let all them tears out get angry if you need to get angry and one of the funnest things that you can do at this third stage is to make fun of the person you were with at the time like make fun of your ex so i would suggest if it's a guy or a girl whatever it is obviously you're dating a guy or a girl what am i saying yeah get it like you have a picture of your ex Stop looking at the picture and like criticize the picture. This is the time you're allowed to body shame a person within yourself. <laughs> like, listen, this is the time you're allowed to be like, oh my god, what was I thinking? That knows. You know, because when you're dating someone, you don't see the ugly part of them until you're angry at the person. Let's be real. Until you're angry at the person, then you can see that this person has bad breath, nasty teeth, like head shaped like a cucumber. I'm kidding. <laughs> no one's head is shaped like a cucumber. But like a mango head or like then it's only when you're angry you get to see all those things. So right now you're getting you your third process of break getting over the breakup. You're in an angry and a crying and a sad stage. So during that angry time, you gotta pick on all the little things that you didn't like about this person and focus your mind on it and feel and like make fun of this guy or or her. Like, oh my god, her body was just not for me or this and whatever you want to do or make fun of but i'm not telling you to go out there and start like writing on social media and like go bullying this person to their face no this is you within you in your own little corner you know what i'm saying and you're just we all do this guys come on let's be real we all do this so so get angry and like make fun of your ex one of the fastest ways to get over someone is like Make fun of the person and see all the negative things that you didn't see before that you were like tolerating because you were in a relationship with the person but now there is no legal contract for you to tolerate nonsense you can make fun of it as much as you want to and in step number four you need to forgive yourself you need to forgive yourself for whatever part or role you may have put in this thing and also take responsibility for your actions in the relationship as well if you contributed to their relationship falling apart own it accept it forgive yourself and even if you didn't have anything to do with the breakup and it's all this person still forgive yourself and don't, you know sometimes you go into a relationship and then it doesn't work out for whatever reason maybe she cheated or he cheated or whatever and you didn't know until like later on in the relationship and you find that and it caused the breakup like a lot of times you start feeling guilty it's like oh my god i'm so dumb i should have seen this coming or i should have done this I should have done. like you can't sit on regret you cannot sit on regret and you have to learn to forgive yourself i'm not saying forgive the person i'm saying forgive yourself for being in the situation that you were in and forgive yourself for whatever it is you felt like you did wrong in a relationship for whatever, however you felt like you contributed to that relationship for it not working out forgive yourself heal and forgiveness comes with healing the minute you start forgiving yourself and understanding that okay this happened things happen things happen and it's not for me to 
um, try to fix it right now between this person because it didn't work out clearly. I'm at the stage where I need to just let go of the situation, forgive myself for the situation, and healing starts to come. With time, you start to heal. And you can't sit in the crying stage forever. You can't sit in the angry stage forever. You can't sit on the unforgiving, unforgiving stage forever. Everything has to come to an end. Everything comes to an end in life. So if, say for example, if you, when you first broke up with this person, like seeing a picture of this person would like, oh my God, would hurt you like the first probably couple of days or week. But after two weeks or three weeks, you know, your feelings starts to get, you know, you, you start healing, time heals. So allow yourself to have the time, allow yourself to feel, for, allow yourself the forgiveness process and get into the healing process as well. So that's your step number four. And then step number five, and this is the final one that I feel like you need to do very importantly stop texting this person delete their number you know that video on instagram is like a block a block a block a block a delete block whatsapp block instagram block facebook block twitter block what myspace people see myspace no i'm sure like block on every le 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 vow that you can possibly think of block this human being delete their number don't call don't text don't even pretend calling don't use your friend's phone to call avoid calling as much as you can don't even go to his social media page her social media page to try and like stop this person or like at this point it's a survivor mode you want to move on from this person like get uh, by the time you're here the only stage you are allowed to like maybe stalk a little bit was on that um, crying stage and getting angry stage. No, no, feeling the emotion stage. And you can still like go through pictures and like see and whatever, whatever. But when you get to this stage, the fifth stage, so at this stage, it's a stage of no texting, no calling, no stalking. Because you know why it's very important for you not to do that? This is your closing door stage. This is the stage where you're closing door to this relationship and it's like, bye-bye, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Because if you start texting and start calling and start going on social media and like Instagram, Facebook and like start stalking, you're going to get stuck there. That's where it's going to get stuck. And you have to restart your process all over again. So that temptation comes at this point. It's like, let me just see if he misses me. Let me just see if he's thinking about me or she's thinking about me or she's missing me. Let me just text and let me just say hello and see if he's gonna even respond. Because sometimes like, if you just say hello, it's like, oh my God, I've been meaning to talk to you. No, my dear. If a deal, it is over. Let it go. This is the time for you to like, Throw that thing away and move on. So those are my five simple steps for you to get in a way bad breakup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. Please leave your comments below here on the sub, um, comment section and let me know what are the steps you use to get over a bad breakup. How bad was it? Share your experience. Share this video with your friends and family. And um, like, let's get the conversation going. What steps and process did you use to get over a bad breakup? I personally, um, back then when I was still dating, <laughs> in the dating scene, I used this process to get over someone. And also I was like, one of those people who were like, I was never stuck in a, I don't like feeling sad. I don't like being stuck in a situation that's not gonna bring me anything. Like, I'm not gonna do anything, like crying for like 10 days is not gonna help me, but I do cry when it's like it's over and stuff like you go through this process and you go through the crying stage and you go through the angry stage you go through all that stuff but i'm not gonna get stuck there so that's what i'm telling you guys try this if you're experiencing and you're struggling to get over someone try this and trust me you'll be here coming back writing on the section comment section and be like listen i tried your five simple step of having to, to get over a bad breakup and it worked like a charm and now you're free on to the next one just like that well thank you guys for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it remember to click the subscribe button um comment share like do whatever you need to do until i see you guys again thanks for watching and god bless